Good morning team. Yes, we are here at Melbourne's Property Buyer Expo. Doors will shortly open and they close at 5pm. So plenty of time all day to come down today and chat with the likes of Ben, who is from uh, Empower Wealth and Chairman of PICA. Ben, we were just chatting. What is PICA? So PICA stands for the Property Investors Council of Australia and it's one of the most interesting things that's happened in the last five years in the property investment space because there's been a lot of changes and a lot of, lot of regulation, APRA interference, macro prudential changes, but who is the property investor? There's over two million of us, but we don't have a united voice. So what we've done is we've set up this association run by property investors for property investors. So it's almost like a volunteer association. We all volunteer our time and what we want to try and do is advocate and educate property investors. So anyone or any investor, which is pretty much anyone, can sign up. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's only $5 to sign up. And what we want to try and do is get a seat at the table to look after property investors because no one really has their best interests at art except for our new association. Right. Well, let's talk about those poor old property investors which may be uh, struggling at night to fall asleep with the problems uh, on their shoulders that we're hearing about. You know, there's a, a, a little bit of turbulence in the market <laughs> of late, so to speak. Um, what are some of the issues they're facing? Look, Amanda, it's almost like boom or bust isn't it now we don't like this equilibrium that's going on so we are definitely seeing the Sydney market starting to change Melbourne market correcting off its peaks as well but there are still great opportunities in the market so if you lift your eyes as an investor and you become a borderless investor there's some great opportunities I mean we're buying some wonderful property in Brisbane there's good opportunities in Adelaide we all know how great Hobart's been going so if you can look at those types of areas and in Melbourne you know just take a look outside Geelong's performing in incredibly well. Ballarat's also doing well. So, you know, that's the whole thing. When people think about the Australian property market, they think just one market, but there's multiple markets in there. So I wouldn't be too concerned. And if I bought a property in these markets, that it's coming down. Well, look, the market's going to correct from time to time. It runs in cycles. So we've just got to sit tight. It is a bit of a psychological game, isn't it, Ben? It's almost as if, you know, um, you've got to flip your thinking and go, well, where is the opportunity under all this duress? Because it's there waiting for you. Yeah, that's right. I mean, you know, the state of the wallet plays with our state of our minds. So when we feel like we're losing money, you know, that emotional aspect that comes into play is always challenging. But if we, you know, again, play the long game and property is a long term investment. So we want to make sure that when we're investing, that we are investing for the long term. So if we can think about, yep, there's going to be a correction or a tightening in the market, that's OK. It happens in all investment cycles. So if we can, you know, take the moment to sort of say, I'm calm, I've got my cash flows right, I've got my buffer in place. Over time, you're going to see that growth come back again. Terrific. Now, we can't solve all the world's or investors' problems in three minutes or so, <laughs> yeah. but people can talk to you directly, Ben Kingsley, here today at Melbourne's Property Expo and also tomorrow as well or just today? No, no, I'll be here all weekend with everyone else in terms of all property expert, experts. We've got you know, economists. Everyone's going to be here to take those questions. So come on down and have a listen to some of the experts in terms of what they have to say and restore that confidence if your confidence has been challenged over the last couple of months. So some good news, folks. Back to you.